Ah, ah, I show you the new game mode. So, there it is. The newest game mode of Gun of Super Fantastic Days JP version. Um, we call it Fame Quest, or Lame Quest sometimes. Um, so yeah, um, where do I start? Um, first of all, you have a fame rank. <clears throat> you start at rank 1, and for every stage you defeat boss, you get a higher rank. And depending on your rank, you have better chances to get good drops. Like, um, if you're rank 1, you have a 1% chance and get a 3 star drop. Uh, and at rank 4, you have a 15% chance to get a 3 star drop. So, uh, it really depends on your rank. So, don't do the mistake I did back then. Um, I started with the first quest. I went in here and thought, Oh, I just need to play the game. I just need to defeat enemies to get fan quests. No, the rank scales with the boss you defeat. So you need to go back once, you need to go back twice, then you can select the next difficulty and defeat the boss there to get higher ranks. So don't be dumb as me. Don't waste your stamina on the first stage. Try to beat as many as you can and um, do the stuff there. Um, so how does frame quest actually look like? Um, the first things are it's pretty simple. It's a typical normal stage where you fight enemies, um, where you can get different drops. So here you see what kind of drops you can get for different star ratings. So if you get a 3 star rating you get these drops, 2 star rating this drop, 1 star rating this drop and it scales on the time you have left I think. So. Uh, the more time you have left, the more stars you get, the more stars you get, the better rewards you get. Um, most enemies simply drop just normal stuff. I go uh, to there in a second what it actually brings. Um, they have different materials as you see here. And if we go back to, let's say, higher difficulty, like uh, the highest one, for example. Um, bye, Yannick. <coughs> You'll see that they actually have higher chances to drop other cool stuff, like, for example, specific stats for the boss, like here, uh, Winter Shogun Shards and Elemental Crystals. Before I go to what you do with them, um, you can do one to three runs, so same with like an event boss. I can go like one, two, three. One run is 20 stamina per stage, and we have these potions here. These potions here guarantee you per run that you use. So if I put this one here, I need one per run, so I need three. You are guaranteed to get a special drop. What these special drops are, uh, let me show you. Let me just play a stage without the potions on and see if I can do it or if I get unlucky. You already saw something, but uh, I'll come to that in a second after I defeated the stage. Um, the enemies are not that tough, to be honest. Um, the, the, the biggest, or let's say the hardest part is actually that these stages have a, uh, a difficulty gate. So if your team power is not strong enough, you won't be able to challenge the stage. So you really need to try to get as much power as you can to unlock these stages. Uh. 
By the way, you also see uh, the enemy is weak to fire, so like the current arena, he resists every other damage. That's uh, something you need to keep in mind. But that should be it. Nice. Hi, Leak. Uh, I already played Global uh, and did my Genshin pulls. So, you just saw something golden pop up there on Kazuma. And this is the whole new stuff that is here. Um, if you get lucky or you use the potion, as I said, you can get special drops for your characters. In this case, I have the option to choose one of three things. I can increase Kazuma's attack by 20, I can increase his magic attack by 20, or I can select this new passive skill that I can use for battle. These have different effects. Um, I think this one is like... Um, if he comes in from uh, the battlefield from the back, he does not come. I, I don't have the stuff in my head out of the get-go. I would need to translate them. Uh, for now, I just use bonus attack. And we just get the drops. Uh, we currently also get event tickets from doing it. Uh, so yeah. And it's also part of a new daily to do it, so... Um, with that, we also get two ads per day to get stamina back. So I can now watch double the ads to do more runs. And for purpose, uh, I use potions right here to... Um, to presentate uh, how it looks like. And also I want to get special drop on Kaz uh, Aqua. Maybe Kazuha too, so... Thanks for the bits, TVO. Wait a bit. Best case is if someone dies early. Perfect. Um, we should kill here. Good. Uh, in case you're wondering what I'm, what the frick I'm doing here with like um. Uh, letting units die. Um, only the first three units in your party can get these drops, so bad units can't get this one. So um, I'm trying to grind on the hardest boss uh, to get boss drops. So um, I use Leah as a back as main DPS to kill the boss fast enough to get good drops, and. Um, want a unit to die so she can come in and clear the boss fast enough. That's the whole point why Leah is here. So, now everyone will get three pop-ups. One, two, three. A lot of golden, that's good. Um, so here we see I can choose between defense, magical defense, and uh, a bad stat, which I don't care about. Um, here we have a golden one that gives me... bad I probably just take the physical attack here and whew. I don't like these back defense ones so this one gives you um gives you defense when you come in 
um, for like a few seconds, so um, makes units a little bit tankier, but I want my units to do more damage, so I try to focus on the damage stuff. So like here, physical attack, physical attack. And here I take the gold one because I don't have that much stuff on Misaka anyway, so why not? Um, here you come to the interesting one, Aqua. Um, I used Aqua the most, so you see a bit red number on top uh, there. You can only choose 30 stat boosts in total. And you can only use 20 stat boosts in one category. So for Aqua, for example, I push everything I can in physical attack and everything else is magical attack. So 20 boosts in physical attack equals to 400 plus physical attack and 200 plus magical attack. So the first screen brings me nothing because um, my stats are already perfect. Second screen, I could get this one, but it's whatever. And this one is also whatever. So um, here you see the second one goes up. Um, the second one are these kind of um, sub passes that you can get. Um, and if you're full, you need to throw autos away to select new ones. Same is with full stats. If, for example, I used physical, physical attack there to push my unit when she's full, I can choose to lower auto stats to redistribute my parameters. So if there's an arena where Aqua needs like a little bit more physical defense, I could grind the new mode, get the physical defense, make her a little bit tankier, and after that reduce, redistribute the stats to physical attacks. Um, these stats for now are not usable outside fame quest. They will be usable in two weeks. So, um, in two weeks, starting on the Monday of uh, two weeks, um, I think it was like one fourth of the stats, so 25% or something like that, will be used in other modes. So, these stats are key for Arena. You want to have them. These stats are per card, not per character. So, I use Fats Aqua if I want to use, for example, Earth, Earth Aqua. I would need to re-grind the fame quest to get her physical attack up. And to get the passive stuff. So these are not character specific, these are card specific. Um, so yeah, uh, I need to watch an ad, sorry. <laughs> so I can show more. Wait, what? All these bad ads. <laughs> you literally can't see shit. No interactive game, sad. I can do three more runs. Now I can show it to you. So um, here on the bottom right, you can select these new kinds of stuff. Um, you will see some of them have specific stats. For example, this one gives you HP. Some don't, and they also have a special effect. So for example, this one is for every or every fifth turn will deal a little bit more damage. So. They can increase damage by a bit. It's noticeable, it's good. It's not like game breaking, but you want to have these if you want to rank high in arena. Uh, for example, here's one with the same type of skill, but this one gives 14 magical defense. This one here gives HP. This one here gives physical attack, for example. This one gives um, physical defense. So for example, I can say, hmm, do I want the 20 physical attack or do I want the better passive skill? Uh, for Aqua, I have a lot of trash ones. You see, they are like bronze, silver, golden. Um, the golden ones are bad on here. She only has like one that gives her increased uh, healing or not increased healing, but uh, one that gives her uh, a heal, a small heal every five turns. Uh, 
And um, there's also one special thing. Uh, some characters have a special skill they can unlock. For example, uh, right now only Aqua, Kazuma and Darkness have the one. Aqua's uh, Kazuma special skill makes it that every third snipe will be a guaranteed crit. Which is good, but it means Kazuma needs to snipe three times, so he needs to survive so you can check him. Uh, Aquas gives her whole team randomly after she attacks um, a small attack boost. Um, it's a separate buff, so it's kind of good if it procs. Um, and Darkness has the ability to block one damage of another unit, so uh, you can make the boss see me focusing the front unit. This kind of stuff also helps with like triggering the boss to focus these units. So um, there, there's a lot of strategy in there with like the passive skills you can use. Um, most of the time you probably just want to damage one with the right substat. So yeah, kind of like Genshin uh, artifact stuff. Um, and yeah, the sad part as I said is it's not character specific, it's card specific. So for example, um, I have my fast aqua grinded up. If I'd be like, hmm, next arena is Electra Arena. Uh, Electra Arena would be really good to have the aqua here. Oh no, everything is gone. I have no boosts. I have nothing. This also means, what's the, the bigger thing is, um, it also affects subunits. So, in the future, you need to grind your free stars, maybe, if you use them as subs, to increase their stats, so they give more stats to your main unit, so you make your main unit stronger. That's the thing why they do like probably the two weeks delay, so you can take your time to prepare a lot of units, but in the same time, you need to get lucky or you're pretty much effed. Like, I waste a lot of stamina and I still haven't gotten Aqua's drop and I want it for fast Aqua. Uh, in the meantime I try to get some stuff for Mikasa and Kazuma so I have them a little bit pushed because the first arena where you will use the stats bonus will be Electro Arena so I try to use them a bit. That's by the way also the reason why I have two Electro units and a fire enemy and not the fire units because the next big one is Electro. I can probably just like um, play the Electro stage, like um, here's an Electro stage where I can grind, where I can also get the frog drops I think. Yeah, I can get the frog drops here, so um, after I got enough Shogun drops to craft him as an assist, uh, I probably switch over there. Or maybe first and later the Shogun, I need to think about it, but like um, that that's the whole thing. It's a new system to increase your stats, to increase, uh, to get special abilities with a small buff but a noticeable one. So it's good to grind for it, but you would not need to. But everyone who's hardcore tryharding for arena probably will do it. So yeah, as I said, you need a lot of stamina to do it, and. It's also a little bit kind of pay to win because, um, as I said, you can use the potions. How do you get potions? You can buy them with quads. I can literally use my whole quads. So, uh, 100 quads is 10 potions. So, 100 quads is like, um, I, I can't do the math, but. Uh, you, you can either use your quads to increase your stamina so you can do more runs or you can use your quads to buy potions to get guaranteed drops to decrease the amount of stamina you need. I don't know which one is more efficient, I, ha I haven't done the, the checking, it's also like luck dependent. Sometimes you can get like 3 or 4 drops, sometimes you get like 0 or 1. So um, I, I think the potions are probably better. but. Um, that, that's my only kind of salt with it is yeah the, if, if you whale you can get another bonus not as important as the character shots right now but still it's a lot of grind um let's also talk about the new assists and uh, what we got there um 
we can craft new assets with some cool unique effects like a frog one which will slow the enemy down for three seconds i think so the enemy won't move for three seconds so he swallows him for three seconds um the 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 beginner killer i forgot the name the novice killer or something like that um he will just deal damage to the enemies uh the shogun was also just a normal damage to enemy one enemy we have these ones which will increase uh, um i'm not 100 sure uh, I think this one will increase your elemental damage by a bit. Beginner's Bane, yeah, that could be it. Uh, I just have the German name in my head, so... Um, these ones are cool, we need to check out how good they are. We have these scrolls, which are like the worst of these. And yeah, that's it. But one thing you notice, if I click on one, we have this side here on the bottom right, which are passive skills. So. If I go back in here, for example, um, let's say I'll uh, select the actual stage because it's faster to do it. Uh, da -da -da. Make three runs. Should be a lot more doable. Uh, if I click on an assist, you see I have somehow two assists equipped. It's not two assists, it's a main assist and a sub assist. So for example, Rufian increases your physical attack. We have one that gives earth damage, one that uh, heals over time, one that gets magical attack, Chimoski gives fire damage, uh, Amsuke increases some kind of damage, uh, forgot her name, she increases light damage, and if the enemy has a debuff even more and stuff like that, so um, <laughs> you now need to equip your proper sub. And your proper sub sub. <laughs> so yeah, these are the new mechanics that got introduced. Um, I think it's the idea is neat. As I said, I like the idea. It could be pretty fun to actually experiment with a lot of stuff. Like, uh, uh, at least that's what I hope where it's going to. It's like um, at the at the beginning, it, it won't be. That hopefully but like later best strategy means you need to re-equip the units reshift their stats to make the team properly working for example um eventually in the future we will get belly as an assist who kill who can kill one of the units so for example you want a unit that's like a glass cannon you push full attack you make a lot of damage and then just sack her at the right time or like the boss does a lot of damage, so you want to use your proper team, but your proper team can't survive normally. So you want to use some stats into, for example, defense or HP, so you can make units tankier. So the rotation works because the unit can't survive long enough until the next heal and stuff like that, as long as you don't get crit. Or like, because you have lower damage, you won't hit the threshold as early for a boss, so the boss does less damage and makes the rotation better and stuff like that. So this is like the plan where I hope we go to. So it's a lot more theory crafting on which stat distribution is the best, which sub skill is the best, like does the heal matter, does the heal help, will the defense help because your unit comes in right before the boss uses the ulti for example because you killed your first unit with Belia and your unit survives way better with that or do you just always go with the current one I have, the every fifth attack or something like this is uh, increased damage. Will it just be like it's more damage, so it's the best. Uh, this is the this is the hope I have for the game. If it goes in this direction, could be really really fun. If it's just another whale, get more ahead thing where it just always gives the same stuff. You equip your units one, you just grind your future units uh, when they drop to get the stats next, and that's it. Then it's a bad option. So I really hope they do the right thing with it, but we don't know yet. Especially we don't know when we, we get new stages, new assists, maybe higher levels with more stats to distribute. We don't know yet. This is the first patch we got. But uh, I think it has potential, I hope it has potential and we'll see in the future hopefully. If it comes to more trial in the future, 
it becomes more grindy for sure. Like, um, these here are simply just grind. You grind to get the stuff, and that's it. It's literally just grinding. That was kind of bad. I think I can actually use this, oh god. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, you saw Iris just got the buff for hitting the last round. That's the year one. So died. Uh, but this crit should kill him, I think. Oh, he survived by the Wow. So yeah, the stages are kind of hard. But you saw, I didn't use potions. I got one drop for Kasuma, not a golden one, so I didn't get a passive ability. But at least I get the stats. So this was 60 stamina, one drop, because I got unlucky. If I get truly unlucky, I get zero drops. Uh, I was kind of lucky, so I at least got one drop. <laughs> I mean, we get a lot of stamina meat you normally can't use anyway, so we have a new way to actually waste it. Yeah, I said waste because it feels like I kind of like it. No! No! Why on her? So you, you see, the, these stages are not like fully easy, but if I had a, like a proper team, uh, it would still be pretty easy, I think. Also, having Aqua with a frog is not like the best idea. <laughs> Yeah, this is at best, uh... <laughs> this is at best a 2 star. I can't get a 3 star like that. Oh! I actually got 4 drops, wow! I got one bad ability here and the other stuff is like whatever. Um, you don't need to select stuff. If you don't want stuff, you can just skip it. Uh, but for now, I take whatever I can because if I eventually not grind her to max, I at least have the stats used that I use now. Oh, it's bronze. Two times bronze. Uh, whatever. Can I get good drops with Aqua, please, for once? I also get frog drops, which is good, so I can make a frog assist. Gecko, gecko, gecko. <laughs>
No, she is so ulti. Aqua ulti crit. What the frick? Um, there are some leaks out there who say that Onsen Melissa comes right uh, after I mean, So, we get Komiko, we then get Key, we then get Annie, and then after Annie, we get um, we get Melissa. I think that's what I have in my head. Is this three star? Yay, three star! Oh, another golden for Aqua. I still hope I get Kazuma's too. Oh wow, an actual, an actual golden one. Wow. Because we got the things, we get more. Yeah, uh, I mean, we can skip Kameko to be honest. She's not that good. She's only decent for Fire Arena. Um, the real ones are for sure Anniversary, Erika for Biki. If you want, you can also go for, um, what's it called? Uh, for Chris, but it's not like needed. And then it's, if you can, get on to Melissa. Uh, maybe until then we know more and you don't want Ansel Melissa. Um, but yeah, these, these are like the ones I think are good. More magical attack instead of HP. Oh, let's do it, why not? Double attack on my aqua. I see how fast I can kill the boss with this. Yeah, there I got the aqua damage boost. You see the buff lasts for like 10 seconds, 7, something like that. And there I got zero drops. This can also happen. So. As I said, the potions are really dependent on how lucky would you normally be and how lucky you really are. Uh, is the next Global Arena Lightning? Uh, I don't know. We need to check. What's the correct gacha banana first anniversary? 
I don't think so. I don't think we had a gacha button crush on the 7. At least I wouldn't know about it. Two drops, but bad drops. Literally, I skip because I can't use it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fucking muscle metal, true. Uh, by the way, don't worry. All the mods complained by the community manager about it. Like, the amount of dark arenas we got is just ridiculous. I mean, I understand why they do it, because probably another dark banner and they want to have a proper arena for the units they drop but at the same time this is like the fifth dark arena in like two months or something like that meanwhile others arena are starving so um we got a feedback to the community manager so hopefully we'll change stuff Yeah, that's that's the whole thing that annoys me. Like, where's the water arena? Where are the other cool elements? Why is it just so many dark arenas that are forcing you to use Amy, which I don't have? It's like they literally shit me in my face because it didn't pull Amy. They're literally like, haha, get rid. Because it didn't pull Amy. It's it's oh, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Second, give me a second. Just do another run, why not? I need to wait my stamina anyway. Um... Oh, 
Oh, another bone for Aqua. Oh, this could be a good one for Kazuma. Oh, no. I just want a special Aqua drop. You remember when the last water ring was? I totally don't know. It feels like it was when I did my manual tutorial. I mean, we have one more water since then, I'm 100% sure. But it's like... It, it takes forever, it's so annoying. What did we get for Kazuma? Let me check. It's physical attack 22! We got a perfect drop for Kazuma. Amazing! That's what I want to see. So yeah, uh, as I said, we gave the feedback forward that uh, they should probably swap around some some arena stuff because it's getting annoying AF. Oh no, I hit the cable. No, no, no. Another physical attack for Kazuma. And another stats boot for Aqua, which doesn't help me! I had to cut. Let, let me move the cable away. Uh -huh. There we go. I didn't even touch the cable, why it's... Sometimes I hate my capture card. Sometimes I really hate it. Professional tune, by the way. I haven't got my Twitch money, you know. I can't afford a good mic and other streaming setups. So, um... You guys need to donate more so I can actually buy me good equipment. I mean, it sounds bad, but like, seriously, no joke. You don't know how much a, even a small uh, donation can help me to get to what I need. I'm 
Okay, we suck the shit in them. I mean, donate or sub a broom, okay? <laughs> you choose TVO. If you want that Saka to do does it, you should also do it. Just to make it fair, okay? Can I get more golden drops with Aqua, please? I don't need to shit bronze drop. I need to rainbow drop. I am finally out of uh, 